Hi folks, Brian here with Embrilliance. Today we're going to digitize a simple design with Stitch Artist Level 1. The first thing we need to do is click on the Create Designs button. This turns on the Stitch Artist tool pane, which has all the tools we need to use to digitize a design. Now I'm going to go and click on Image, and I happen to have a nice cartoon snowman that we can open up. There he is. This image can be scaled or rotated or even adjusted for transparency, but I'm going to use it as it is for the purpose of this video. I'm going to click the S key on my keyboard, which will zoom it in. I might use a higher zoom level normally to digitize, but for the purpose of this video, I want to just keep everything in sight for you. Now, one of the easiest ways to create an outline is to use our magic wand tool. With the magic wand tool, you click on that and then click in an area. You'll see the design automatically outlined. And you can keep clicking other areas to add shapes. Here I'm going to click all of the black pieces as a form of rudimentary color sort. I want to sew all the black pieces together. Now I'm going to click on the band on the hat and I'm going to click on the carrot nose. And now I'm going to right click to exit the magic wand mode. If we take a look at the design in the object tree, we'll see that we have all those objects added. The snowman image itself has been locked, meaning that it's not movable unless we select it here in the object tree. This prevents editing of the outline while you're doing digitizing or digitizing editing. That's kind of a handy feature to have. Now, just so that I can give you a little bit more depth in this lesson, I noticed that the snowman body probably could use a hole under some of these large shapes like the mouth. If we click on the mouth and find it in the tree, we can see that that shape could be used as a hole in the snowman's body. How do we do that? Well, we've got it selected, so let's go ahead and copy it. And now what I'm going to do is select the snowman body and right click on it and do a paste over. So now I have a copy of that shape along with the snowman body and I'm going to control click on that to get them both selected. Now to combine the shape as a whole for the snowman body, I'll go to our create menu, which is only visible when the stitch artist create designs mode is going on. I'll click on outline and go down to combine holes. Now the snowman's body has that shape as a whole. Let's put a fill on it so that you can see. Now that we have that fill, we can do things such as edit the inclination or angle of the fill. We have fill properties we can adjust, including the underlay. You might like a perpendicular underlay, which will give the fill a little bit more um, a filled look over the background fabric to keep the background fabric from showing through. And now that we've done that, I think we ought to go and select the rest of these objects, which is easy enough in the tree, to turn those into stitches. Although I think what I want is to have all of these as satin stitches, perhaps except for the top of the hat. So I'm going to deselect that using the control key on my keyboard, and I'm going to take the rest of these things, and I'm going to turn them into satin stitches. I'm going to go back and select the hat and I'm going to turn that into a fill. And let's give that a little bit of an inclination as well. And now we have a snowman that can be sewn. Let's have a look in the sewing simulator. I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you and let it play so we can watch how this sews out. First, we're doing the underlay, and now we're doing the fill. You notice it goes around the mouth and continues filling down. Now, one of the things we haven't done so far is play with the entry and exit points of these shapes. We can do that, but I just wanted to get through the basic demonstration of making shapes and assigning fill or stitch properties to them and creating something that you can sew. But let's take it a little bit further. If we zoom in on the design, which I can do with the zoom slider, or by touching a number key on my keypad, such as the three, which I just touched, I can 
go into the design and start looking for areas where there might be a problem. I'm going to click on the Stitch Artist button and turn off the background image. What this does is lets me see areas like this where I might have a registration problem. Let's zoom in a little further. When you're editing, it's OK to zoom in further to adjust outlines. I notice that I might have a slight registration problem with this band. Why is that? Well, it's because we use the magic wand to create all of the objects. And those pixels, or dots of color, they form a line that goes across. And the red is going to be on one side of the line, and the black is going to be on another side of the line in this case. One of the easy ways to adjust the objects to get rid of a gap is to simply size them. Here I'm going to take the band and adjust its size up. You can also, of course, edit with the nodes to change the shape of the object anytime you want. And sometimes you can get carried away cleaning it up and making it perfect. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it right there for now. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click A for all so that you can see everything on the screen. And I think we're going to end it there because we've created a nice little snowman that's ready to sew. And we've done it all very easily. We'll talk more about drawing with other modes in some of the future episodes. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care.